Let us now take a look at the views expressed about the constitutional reform process during the cabinet media briefing today. <laughs> Yesterday at a press conference, former President Chandrika Bandaranaike said that the new constitution will be based on the constitutional reform she presented back in 2002. She said that the UNP rejected it then and it was rejected because they were afraid that she will get more popular and that these problems will be resolved. There is a big difference between the constitutional reform then and now. The constitution will be prepared under a unitary state agreement. But the constitutional reform in 2002 was prepared under a system that was beyond the federal system. It was a union of regions that was proposed. Are you saying that the constitutional reform that was brought under the presidency of SLFP's Chandrika Bandaranaika, together with former president Mahindra Rajapaksa was beyond the federal system? I did not object. I raised both my hands and declared that I will support it. But there was this one problem, and that was that she tried to extend her term by two years. The Central Committee of the SLFP decided not to abolish the executive presidency, but that is against the public mandate. What is your opinion on that? That is why we will be bringing this constitution. It will abolish the executive presidency. Even if you say that, the Central Committee has already decided not to abolish it. They are of the stance that President Maitri Palasirisena should run for the presidential election in 2020. That is what they say. But the President doesn't say that. I had a discussion with the President this morning. They told me the reason behind this. Why should I tell you that? You asked them. The President has not taken decision of that sort. There had been discussions. There will not be a presidential election in 2020. So why do we need a candidate? How many decisions has the Central Committee made so far?